Say one. Two. One. <laughs> Hubby's here. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to Vlogtober. I can't believe I'm doing this again. Um, this was not so much a last minute decision um, compared to last year when I, I literally decided the week beforehand that I wanted to do Vlogtober and I just kind of winged it the whole month, which is fine, it was a great experience. But this time around, I wanted to be a little bit more prepared. Um, so yeah, here we are, Vlogtober day one. Um, I am in Boston right now, getting ready for a date night. I'm so excited. Um, I mean, I haven't had a date night in months, like, I wanna say January. <laughs> so we're gonna have a little bait, uh, bait night, date night in Boston tonight. We're gonna walk around Newberry Street and then go out to dinner. Um, and I can't wait. I'm just gonna, I already did my hair earlier, so I'm just gonna do a little bit of makeup. But yeah, this is how I wanna kick off Vlogtober. I'm just gonna get ready while I chat with you guys. Um, you guys know all my favorites as of lately, so I'm not gonna like, go through them, but I'm gonna chat and get ready at the same time. So, Vlogtober is here. I cannot believe it. Can't believe it's been a year. Um, obviously, Paloma is now here with us. I was pregnant last year when I did Vlogtober, so it's kind of crazy that I'm a mom of two now. <laughs> okay, so my plan for Vlogtober, I definitely plan to mainly vlog. Um, not so much like a day in the life every single day because that's a little intense. I think last year I tried doing like a day in the life almost every day and that actually takes, I don't know, that was a lot of work. <laughs> yeah, all my videos will probably most likely be mainly vlog style, but I do have some video ideas that I plan to like sprinkle into the mix. Um, so not every single day will be a day in the life. If I just wanna do something like small, um, I'll just have a video of just that particular thing that day, at least so. The goal is to have a video up every single day, except for Sundays, like I did last year. So every single day, except for Sundays. Um, so it would be a video of some some of some sort. <laughs> um, not so much a day in the life every single day, but I will have those in there as well. Um, I don't know, it's just some ideas that you guys have requested, like fall fashion, um, new products, I guess, product reviews. I know you guys had asked for that, but yeah. It should be fun. If you have any requests, obviously leave them down below and I will definitely do my best to try to get those up for you guys in the month of Vlogtober. This month, <laughs> Vlogtober. So I hope you guys enjoy. I'm really excited. Obviously, if you're new to my channel and you're just, you know, browsing Vlogtober videos and you stumble upon mine, welcome. Um, I'm, a, I'm Jen, I'm a stay-at-home wife and mom and I pretty much make videos, well, as of this month, I will be making a video every single day, except for Sunday. So subscribe if you like what you see, and don't forget to give each video a big thumbs up because you guys know your support means so much to me. But yeah, stick around. Um, I am not the most talkative <laughs> vlogger, content creator. Um, I'm just a mom who's very introverted and there are days when I feel really comfortable talking and then there are days when I don't know what to say whatsoever. So I just kind of do life what is me. So if you're into that, <laughs> subscribe. So anyway, um, or follow along at least. Uh, but yeah, anyway, I should probably get ready. <laughs> you guys know um, I prep my skin with this new Trader Joe's Ultra Hydrating Gel Moisturizer. Love this moisturizer, so I've been still into that. I want to say that this is actually being uh, the one that I have from First Aid Beauty, and that is saying a lot because I love First Aid Beauty. Uh, First Aid Beauty was like definitely my number, my go-to as far as dry skin goes. But I don't know. Ever since I found this guy from Trader Joe's, this has been my number one. I love it so much, and so cheap, eight ninety-nine. So anyway, so when you see this video. It's officially October, so what are your plans? Now that fall is in full force, um, being in Boston, it just gives me those nostalgic fall vibes that I love so much that you cannot get anywhere else, which I didn't realize until we started moving around. I mean, uh, my family's in the military, for those who don't know, uh, so we've been moving around now for the past, I wanna say six years. Um, the hubby and I have been married pretty much yeah, a little over six years. So, we've been doing that. I've been to Okinawa, Japan, uh, Tampa, Florida, um, Kansas after that, and now we are in Maryland. So, 
it's definitely an interesting lifestyle. Uh, you never know what's gonna happen. Oh my gosh, I need a mirror. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you never know what's gonna happen, but it has been, I mean, I have to say, it's definitely been a really an exciting adventure that I'm so grateful for. So, um, yeah, Cam's having the time of her life right now with her grandparents. Currently, I mean, what child, what grandchild doesn't have the time of their lives, right? So, anyway, um, what are your plans for October? What kind of fall things are you guys doing this month? Um, I'm hoping to do some apple picking for sure, bake all the pumpkin things. Um, let's see, I feel like I never know. So this is what happens. So like, I'm super chatty in the beginning of it, and then I'm like, what do I say? <laughs> this is how I am when I meet people. It's, I mean, it's something I work on, and I've been getting better at it as I get older, but that introverted side like it's funny because people when they meet me they automatically assume that I'm extroverted because I am like I try to be really talkative and I try to make others feel comfortable um, and then as people get to know me I think they realize I'm a lot more introverted and I need time alone to recharge um, I mean I need a lot of alone time <laughs> to recharge uh, and I think a lot of extroverted people don't understand that completely like my husband is super extroverted you may not think that so when you meet the both of us my husband seems that seems the introverted one and I'm um, I seem like the extrovert, extroverted one because um, my husband just a little bit quiet if he doesn't know you um, but as you get to know us he's the one that can like go all night so me I'm like let's go home I need time I need to like you know wind down it's a struggle sometimes especially if I'm like talking to people every single day so we'll see how this vlog October goes <laughs> talking to a camera I guess it's a little bit different because like I'm not really talking to anybody but besides you guys but still I don't know it's a lot it's a lot for me obviously not every video is gonna be exciting <laughs> but it's more like a challenge for myself like what I can accomplish um, and what I can do if I set my mind to it if all that makes sense so I did it last year, and I'm hoping to do it again this year. I'm so excited for date night tonight. You have no idea. Like I was saying, it's been forever. Um, we're probably gonna go to uh, dinner at a restaurant that's been like our go-to uh, whenever we're in town. It's Island Creek Oysters. It's so good. We had our first anniversary dinner there, I believe. So, oh no. That might be too loud. So we're gonna head into town around two, probably have dinner around five because I like the early, I like being the early bird. I'm not gonna lie. I like it when it's not super crowded. Um, and then see where the evening takes us. We won't be out super long. But it'll be nice to get away from the girls. Of course, of course. <laughs> okay, my brows are a little <laughs> bold today. Yikes, okay. I rarely do eyeshadow, but I figured I just like add a little something for date night, but I am trying out this Bare Minerals Bounce and Blur eyeshadow palette, and I really like it. In the palette Dusk, this is the warmer one. I think the other palette was more cool toned, but I, I like it. It has like a sunset feel. Um, I'm using all the colors right now except for this, the the black one at the end here. But I don't know. I like that. It's just super natural. It's actually meant to be used with your fingers, which I appreciate just because I'm not an expert. And anyway, brushed out my brows a little, so hopefully that helped out. Hi, Mike. Hi, sweetie. Okay, I'm almost done with it, okay? I'm borrowing Kim's chair. <laughs> I'm almost done, I promise. I'm just doing a little makeup and then I'm almost done. What do I I'm doing makeup. It's the first day of October. Can you say hi? No, October. That's how Kim feels about October. <laughs> That's probably how I'm gonna feel at the end of the month. But anyway, okay. So yeah, my mom's gonna be home soon. Tabby and I are gonna get out of here, and then it's date night. Date night is upon us, and anytime we're home, we love shopping on Newberry Street and just browsing through all the fun stores that they have, seeing what's in season, all the things we can't afford. <laughs> but this room is calling my name because of all the neutrals. You guys know how I feel about my neutrals. Um, they definitely had some quirky things, and I don't know why, but I always gravitate towards blazers. I just love a good structured coat. I can't help myself. 
After shopping, it was time for dinner, and you guys, it was literally the perfect day for a date night. The weather was amazing. It felt like fall with the cooler temps. I loved my outfit. This is my dress from Target. So affordable, so easy, so breezy, and just perfect for a casual, dressy date night. We went to our favorite spot, Island Creek Oyster downtown and it has been our go-to since our first anniversary and of course had to order myself a cocktail because why not got myself an Aperol spritz it has been my jam lately and of course we started off with oysters we got two of every kind on their menu and you guys it was pure bliss let me know down in the comments below if you love oysters just as much as I do and then it was time for our entrees. I got their lobster roe noodles. Ugh, it was so, so good. So much seafood, so much fresh pasta. And then the hubby got fish and chips, which were so delicious, so flaky. And if you guys don't know this about me, but I am a huge fan of french fries, so I got to dig into some of that. But yeah, we loved both of our entrees and would highly recommend them if you guys ever find yourself at Island Creek. Ugh, they do not disappoint. We were definitely too full for dessert, but the restaurant did offer some little samples, little blondie samples, I believe, and they were delicious. Um, I'm not really sure what they're called, but highly recommend them. So hopefully you guys get a taste if you ever come here, but that's it for date night, you guys. It was so fun being able to just spend time with the hubby, enjoy a date night sans kids, and I hope we do it again. I hope you guys enjoyed the first day of Vlogtober. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye!